Hey there and welcome, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how to install and use the Textual console, the Textual DevTools console, so DevTools as in tools for developers and one of those tools is the console which is very very helpful. So to install it, all you have to do is type pip install textual-dev, now you don't necessarily need to use pip, you can use whatever you use, but it's the package you want to install is called textual-dev. And when you do that, you'll have access to a textual command, which can do things like tell you the textual version you're uh, running on. So at, this, uh, at the time of this recording, I'm running version uh, not 0.43, right? So there's a couple of useful commands in here, or subcommands, but the one I want to focus on is textual console. And so if you type textual console, in a terminal, it will open something like this. And now what this does is it lets you run your applications with the dash dash dev switch. And if you do that, your application will connect to the console and you will get logging in the console, which allows you to take a peek at the way textual and your application, uh, the way that both of these things are running under the hood. So. I have, a, I have a stopwatch application on me, so let's do the following. First I'll run it with the textual run command without the dash dash dev. So textual run and now the application is hidden in my directory structure. But this is what the application looks like. It has a couple of buttons to start stopwatches. I can stop a stopwatch, I can resume it, I can stop it for good and reset it. I can add stopwatches, I can remove stopwatches, I can do a couple of different things. And this is me just running the application. If I close the application, if I restart it, but then if I add the dash dash dev switch, notice how by pressing enter, I immediately get a lot of different things happening in the console over here on the left. And so every time there's an event, every time there's a button click, a, an action that runs, a uh, I don't know, action, clicks on the app itself. Um, so everything, every time there's something happening, it will show up in the console. Now you might say that there's a lot of stuff happening in the console. There's a lot of messages showing up and that's true. But you don't really need to read everything, you just need to look at the console when you want to check something. So for example, at this point, I, I do this sometimes, I'll, I'll go in the console, like I'll press enter a couple of times. I'm not really doing anything, but I'm scrolling a bit. And now if I go to my app and I press stop, there's the space here where I press enter a bunch of times and now I see that everything else happens when I went to the app and pressed the button. And now if I take the time to go through here, I'll see everything that happened. So the first thing I did was I focused the button, which meant that a container had to lose focus. And so the focus went into the button and then I clicked the application, which eventually led to the pressed event on the button. And then I resized some, oops, sorry. Where was I? Right, so then I resized a couple of things because I, I, I hit one of the buttons and showed the other one. So you can, you can go through the messages and see what's happening. Now, before we stop, because I just want to show you the basics, let me show you a couple of other things that might be useful. Um, let's see, so when you run the console, one thing you can do is you can type dash x to exclude certain types of messages. So for example, over here in the previous output, we see that in gray, we have the type of message or the category of the message. And so for example, there's a debug message here, there's an event message here. And so if I do something like dash x event dash x debug, now the console will run and it will not show event messages or debug messages. So let me with the app and connect to the console again. Notice how this time I only have system messages here. And if I press buttons, I don't see the message, the event messages from before. 
but if I do something like press this binding here, I get the info messages that are associated with the actions. So this is a good way of filtering some, some of the console output. Now, two more notes. There are logging facilities that you can use in your textual app to show messages on the console. And for something quick and dirty, you can always print something from within your app. So if you print from within your app, it will show up in the console. So those were two little tips I wanted to give you for free. So I'll stop the video here. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments or you can just join our Discord server and, and ask for help. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.